understanding cell range a group of selected cells is called a range the selected cells should be in continuation to form a range when a range is selected in a worksheet a rectangular shape is formed we can use a cell range to perform a calculation on multiple cells the address of a range is created by using the starting and the ending cell addresses separated by a colon sign for example if we have selected the cells from b2 to e3 then the address of the range will be b2 colon e3 selecting a range in a worksheet we can select a range by using the mouse and by using the shift key by using the mouse perform the following steps to select a range by using the mouse step 1 click on the first cell from which you want to start the range step 2 press and hold down the left mouse button and drag the mouse diagonally to select the desired range step 3 release the mouse button on the cell up to which you want to select the range the range gets selected by using the shift key perform the following steps to select a range by using the shift key step 1 click on the first cell from which you want to start the range step 2 press and hold the shift key down from the keyboard and click on the last cell up to which you want to make selection step 3 release the shift key the range gets selected naming a cell range ms excel allows us to assign a name to a cell range this name can be used in place of cell address in formulas perform the following steps to assign a name to a cell range step 1 select the range of cells to which you want to assign a name step 2 click on the formulas tab from the ribbon step 3 Click on the define name command under the defined names group. The new name dialog box appears. Step 4, type the name and click on the okay button. The assigned name gets appear in the name box. Now, we can use this name in place of cell address in formulas.